disconnect switches. So we're going to talk about this guy here. One thing that I want to mention, so my car is going to be at a track racing, so I've got to follow NHRA rules, and they state that you have to disconnect the positive terminal of the battery from the car to stop it. Um, and I always, <clears throat> so I wondered why, and I did a little bit of research on what people thought this way or the other. So there's a lot of people that say, disconnect the negative, or I've always done this on hot rodding, this, that, and the other thing. So drag racing is different. So that disconnect switch is not meant as a storage thing. It's meant as an emergency shutoff for your car. So if something happens, the emergency crew can come up, they, fl they flip that switch, and it kills power. The thing that you have to be careful of is the car is running when that happens. So when the car is running, it has to kill the power to the car while it's running. So you also have to think of your charging system. So normally, you'll turn the switch on. Your car will have power. You can see everything comes on, right? When you shut the switch off, everything shuts off. That's all fine and dandy when the car is off, but the problem is if you don't do this properly with the car running, it will stay running. So a lot of people will just put a cutoff switch in between. Um, they'll come right off the, the positive battery terminal here, and they'll go right to their cutoff switch, and then out to the car. The problem is that your charging system, when you just disconnect it right there, the alternator is still going to keep it running. And there's a, a lot of people that say, well, if you disconnect the negative side, it will shut it off. No, because when the alternator is running, it creates its own system. And so what I'm going to do today is show you guys this. Now, I have... I can get my phone out here and get a, get a little bit of light on this so you guys can see. I have a circuit breaker on my car for storage on the negative side. So when I do store it, see right there, I've got a circuit breaker. And when I trip that, when I trip that right there, the car shuts off. You can see the gauges are on, or off, sorry. When I turn that back on, you can hear, pump turns on, everything turns off. Now, if you disconnect the negative side when the car's running, it will stay running. So I'm going to prove that to you guys by doing this. And also, I'm going to prove you that if you just take off the positive terminal while it's running, your alternator is going to keep the car running. So to do this properly, you have to disconnect not just the battery, but the alternator from the charging system. So I'm going to start this. And we're going to disconnect the negative side. Now we'll show you guys that it stays running. So right now we've got that on, that on, the car is on, and we're going to start it. Let's do this dance. Just like that. So what's happening with this switch here is I brought two cables. Now this is a little excessive, but I've got one cable that goes um, to the rest of the car. So this this is my cable that goes that feeds the whole car, and this is the alternator. So if you look right here on my disconnect switch, let me get the camera set so you can see what I'm doing. Okay, so on this disconnect switch, move some of this stuff out of the way for you. All right, so you can see there's two posts on it, right? 
So the top post is the one that goes out to feed the whole car, right? And on the bottom post, what I have is the alternator and the battery. So this comes right off of the charging post of the alternator, and this one's right off the battery. So when the switch is on, the alternator and the battery are connected to the car. When the switch is off, it disconnects the alternator and the battery. Okay, so if, if we were just to disconnect the positive terminal of the battery without disconnecting the alternator, the car would just keep on running. So what we're going to do, um, just to show you guys, is we're going to actually disconnect the terminals. So I'm just going to disconnect these here while it's running and show you what I'm talking about. So, fire the car up. Alright, so if all we do is disconnect the positive terminal from the battery, the engine's got to keep running because of the alternator. So what's the best way to do it? Well, it depends on what you're doing. So if this is just a hot rod and you're storing this thing for, let's say, the winter, right? And you want to disconnect the battery or have a trickle charger on the battery but not the car, you can put something like this circuit breaker in, in line with it, and disconnect the negative side while it's in storage. <coughs> or you can do that on the positive side, either way. But if you are going to be doing this as part of a racing deal especially hot rod or uh, NHRA for drag racing you've got to disconnect the alternator and the battery like I showed here now there's a ton of ways to do it you don't have to run the alternator cable all the way to the battery and blah 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 that's just the way that I chose to do it because I had the cables to do it. so um, but just uh, just remember doing this the right way depends on what you're trying to do right for any racing drag racing whatever it's got to kill the car so that's the main test if you fire that switch in the off position and it doesn't kill the car well for any racing that's that's not right all right so the the whole purpose behind that is that if the safety crew has to come and kill the power to the car with like let's say you get upside down they've got to be able to come here flip the switch and kill the car if you don't do it right you're putting them in jeopardy as well as yourself so i just figured i'd uh do a little quick spiel on that since i was doing it i wanted to show you guys um, both ways just so that kind of uh, let you guys know what, what it does and see it firsthand. So anyway, thanks for watching. Have a good one, guys. See you at the racetrack soon.